Ever wonder what it would be like to be a South Florida lifeguard at a local water park? No sharks, no sand, mostly just kids splashing around in knee-deep pools. Sitting in big chairs, in short shorts and tight tops, sunning and whistling. How tough can it be? So this week for my In Your Shoes column, I spent a day with lifeguards at C.B. Smith's water park. Have to say, they're not much fun. They scan the water incessantly like robots, bark out rules like drill sergeants gone wild, and they're hardly chatty. Off the slide, buddy. Off the slide, please. Hey, buddy, in your tube. In your tube. Ma'am, she needs to be in the tube, please. Lifeguards aren't over-friendly for a lot of reasons, and one of the biggest, whether they like to admit it or not, is because they have to spend a lot of their time babysitting for kids and adults. One day in March, a four-year-old boy managed to sneak into the Lazy River tube ride here, unattended. Before he knew it, he was stuck underwater below a tube. Nobody saw him, except lifeguard Eric Moss. He was pretty much giving, he was giving up. He, could, he wasn't struggling anymore. It looked like he was about to go unconscious or unresponsive. I pulled him out. I threw him over my shoulder. He's a very small boy and I'm a big guy, so a lot of force hit when he hit my shoulder and he started spitting up water on my back. And he didn't have to go unresponsive to where I had to begin CPR. So I got very lucky, um, but I did see it in time, so everything ended up being okay. On a busy day, up to six children can get lost to the point where they need a lifeguard's help. This happened to Sunrise mother Tanya Bogle, who lost track of her seven-year-old son. I'm so freaked out right now. How long ago did you see him? He was uh, 15 minutes ago. He okay. was up in the playhouse. Okay. And now all of his friends, they don't know where he is. He's out maybe in Lazy River. Jake Bogle, go back to your belongings. Your mother's looking for you once again. Jake Bogle, go back to your belongings. Your mother is looking for you. Thank you. Any of the children, and he's not with any of the moms. Thank you. Thank you so much. No problem. You're welcome. You're not supposed to leave me ever, or you have to be with somebody, right? Okay. Lost children take up a lot of a lifeguard's day, but they are really here to save your life. I got a taste of that when I broke the rules and jumped into the pool like so many kids do. I'm coming, sir. I'm coming. Why don't you do me a favor? Just stand up for me. Can you stand up for me, sir? Stand up for me. I'm going to take your arm. Okay, man. I'm going to take your arm. Wow. Stick with me. You want to make sure everything's all right? Excuse me. Can you tell me your name? It's just practice, sweetie. It's just practice. Alright, let's get it down here. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three. How's that? That's an ordeal. Yeah. Alright. Take care. Yeah. You feel like, okay, you're going to the hospital. <laughs> it wasn't worth the jumping in. <laughs> Don't jump in, kids. Let this be a lesson to you. <laughs> well, that was a real lesson. Things can go wrong when you uh, jump in the water. No jumping. Now I'm going to try one more thing. I'm going to go up the 62 steps it takes to get to the top of their biggest slide. I've learned it's a big job to be a lifeguard. you got to take it seriously. You can't stop. You never rest. Something can happen at any point. That's why I think the biggest lesson I learned today, it's a lot easier on this side of the ropes, enjoying the fun. Oh, now it's real. Oh, oh my gosh. Okay. Coming through. Coming through. Oh, the dip. That's the dip. No. No. Darn. Uh, Daniel Vasquez, SunSentinel.com. See ya.